Since the stay-at-home order was issued, a lot of folks have taken advantage of all the extra time that they can now spend with their pets. MTN's Megan Mannering reports on why you should actually set aside alone time for your four-legged friends. As much as you'd like for things to get back to normal, there are some out there who are loving the stay-at-home order. For pets, having their owners home all the time is ideal, but according to professional dog trainer Jean Biggins, man's best friend could face some serious separation anxiety once life eventually goes back to normal. When you go back to your normal 30-hour, 40-hour, home alone week schedule, you might see some behavior changes and they might have a hard time going back to being home alone so much. Biggins says it's much easier to prevent separation distress in dogs than to resolve it down the road. Dogs who are really suffering from separation distress are going to be maybe causing some damage or doing some pestering at doors and windows, trying to get out, trying to follow you. Um, if it gets really severe, they, they can harm themselves. It can be really detrimental to their well-being. But there are things you can be doing now to help your pet later. When you do some of your family, human family outings, think about actually leaving the dogs behind right now. By giving your dog little periods of isolation each day, you're allowing them to maintain their sleep schedule and reminding them that you won't always be around once the stay-at-home order is lifted. Our dogs had to learn to be left alone as puppies. Right? Maybe people remember back when they got their puppy and they screamed its head off. Well, it was learning to be alone, um, learning not to sleep with the people or learning that you had to go to work. That's something our, most of our adult dogs have learned and can do, and we want to maintain that. Spending every minute with your dog will only give them unrealistic expectations. So give them a little space and they'll thank you for it later. In Missoula, Megan Mannering, MTN News. For pet owners working from home, Biggins also has some advice if your dogs are interfering with your business calls or Zoom meetings. You can find those details at kpax.com.